Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. This one's gonna be a little bit of a quicker video. I've just ducked out on this winter's night to see if we can't catch a few geckos walking up and about. So I'm out with my mate Simon. He's gonna meet me down at this track very, very shortly. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can find a few gecko species. I'm particularly wanting to see a stone gecko because I haven't found one of those in Sydney uh, yet. So that'll be really cool to be able to see these guys in the flesh. Stick with us. Hopefully we find a few broad tail geckos, maybe some thick tail geckos if we're lucky, some scaly feet. Uh, and also, yeah, hopefully we get some stone geckos as well. That's pretty got, epic. I got six stone geckos that night too. Oh, that's what I'm excited about, is seeing yeah. some stone geckos. Because that's, as I've said so many times, that's one that I got a tick. That's annoying when you've got one that you know is local as well, and it's just like somehow some here. Well, that's it. Like, you know, going up to like the usual haunts up at Karinga and stuff like that, it was, you know, everybody else was finding like one here or there. I'm like, yeah. surely I'd run into one over the course of <laughs> five, six years. No. Not to save me. I've only seen the one thick tail at night out there. Really? Yeah. Which, I mean, like, you find them in similar times you find bandy bandies, right? So yeah. My luck there was never great. It's uh, funny how it works. Oh, here we go, two broad tails. As I was saying, it's a shame about all the graffiti that people leave in these spots, though. Yeah, it does get better further around. Yeah, yeah, it's a good crack in there is a good spot for them. How mad. I never get sick of seeing these guys, hey? Nah, they, they, you get so much variation with them around here as well. You know, this little... There's a third one, I think, unless it's a leaf. The tail poking out just the end of the rock. Oh, that's got to be another one. Yeah. Oh, this one's got an original tail. This one's got a little... Region. That is definitely going to be another one there. Yup. A bit of a weird angle to get to, but that's definitely <laughs> another one. They're so mad. Covered in mites. Oh, they always are. I never noticed until I looked close up at a photo one time. Oh, they've got red dots everywhere, and it's the mites. Here's something for all you potential buyers of Sydney broadtail geckos. Generally, generally speaking, if they're captive bred, they will not be covered in mites. You can make them out, it's a little bit hard. See these little orange dots? If you're buying geckos that have these dots on them, there's a chance, a pretty solid chance, you're buying poached geckos. So try to avoid that like the plague, because these animals should be in the bush and you shouldn't be supporting poaching. There's number four, right in the crack there. Just make out that little face. How cute little buggers, aren't they? Yeah. Love the steely blue eyes. It's not an easy one to pull. Just the guy that keeps on. <laughs> yeah, but I, that's like to get over a fear. Yeah, okay. Like, there was no hope in hell, but like, I wouldn't have been able to do this you know, a couple of years back now. That's cool, though. Yeah. I do, I can appreciate them now. Only one. There you go. So, how many have you seen in there before? Uh, three. Is normal. Oh, oh there's another one down there. Okay, that might be the three, three regulars then. It's funny how you start to know your local numbers and stuff yeah. like that. I know where on this this wall in particular. Uh, there's spots here, uh, and then two other spots around the other side because it's such a big rock. Yeah, such a cool little species. And these ones are definitely on the move because you can see they're not just 
flat down. They're all they're all off moving. The rock. Yeah. So you had one in this crack here too. Yep. Down a bit lower. All oh, right, it goes right down. So. Oh yeah, there is. Yep. And what I love about these guys is they just rely so heavily on their camouflage. They, yeah, so they don't move. They won't move. Which means you can get them in really sweet positions and practice your photography. So this is where I kind of learned to, to photograph animals, which is coming out to this rock for the geckos. Well, leafies are fantastic for that. The morris were unreal for that. I was like, yeah. even I was kind of toying around with things there. I love how they kind of, like... For a gecko that's just got little tiny claws, they can just hang on to anything, hey? Well, I wish I had, like, the strength or the body weight to be able to manage. So what number is that? We've got three on that wall. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's number three. eight? I think this is eight. I'm oh, halfway that's in. That's pretty good. Yeah. For this a night like this, I'm actually pretty stoked. Well, what, what temp do you reckon it is? It's probably only about It started 14, at 16, now. and it's probably going to drop to about 14. Yeah. I mean, these guys are a cool climate species, so they're yeah. going to be able to handle this end lower. Yeah, so but I was thinking active. of this one instead of the other spot, because with the thick tails, I find you need at least 16 to, to be stable across. Yeah, I'd agree with that. They're cool, though. Cool little geckos. Numero nine. That's a good little posse. Yeah, framed with the leaves on either side. Nice and secure in there. I enjoy a good in situ herp. That's wicked. Yeah, got my leaf tail eyes in finally. Okay. What's that, number 10? <laughs> no, number I, 10. I finally chimed in. There we go. That's, that one's pretty far up there. That's an original tail on it too. That's a nice little gecko. Oh, I love the way that one's posing. That's really cool. You got your camera waiting for crickets to go past. Yeah, it's just how to get it up. Just to get the best. Good, Cause good looking. Oh, this is, yeah, that's a mission. That's a bit of yeah. a... I took my longer lens point. off and I was like, I don't even need it in my bag. I'll just put the macro in. <laughs> <laughs> in a time like this? Yeah. There's no way I would have picked that up. No, I got a quick, quick glimpse on this one. It's because you've got that... Um, the light coming on on the side, I can see the shadow. Yeah. I'm back in the game, baby. That's number number 11, my second one. So, and a little one. He's cute. Right next to that crack, so he's got the security right there. Still got a little original tail on him too. Stun little geckos. That's gotta be number 12 now. Yeah, number 12. Yeah. Right, so we're passing the Moritz tally from that trip. There's another little guy just there, another Sydney Brody. I love hanging out in these little tight cracks. He's just turned around now, but there's number 13. Oh, I can barely make him out of that crack. He had his head out of it. He was kind of coming along, but this crack is awesome for him. They'd be loving this, because they got the big open face just below it. He's hard to make out there. Oh, you can see him just moving there. I think you've got the angle, I can't quite get him. So on closer examination, got that one there. And then, oh, just behind him. Almost just can't catch it. There's another one. You can just make him out there in the center of the frame. That's number 14. He's in the middle there. Yeah. Alright, so we've got number 15 there too. It's going to be impossible for us to see from the angle. I just kind of pointed it out to Simon. We got a little bit of eye shine from it. But uh, yeah, very confident to call that as number 15. Up in that crack as well. Where it is absolutely soaked now. Number 16. Actually, that might be it. That's a good looking gecko. It's a good looking gecko. That's a very good looking gecko. Very intact, very big, very healthy. Both of the original tails, they're a lot more heart shaped. Yeah. 
in the region. And they've got all those tubercles and stuff still attached to them. They don't have that kind of weird leaf shape type of thing. They kind of like off leaf shape, they just look a bit monty. Four in one crack. One, two. Oh, the fourth yeah. is right back there. Three. That's insane. I must have forgotten that one before. Because normally I check along. They're normally along the back here. Mm. So looking down the side. Here, they're normally on the inside. But if they're all tucked away. That makes 20. Yeah. For <laughs> a winter's night. Winter's night and 20, 20 broadtail geckos. That's awesome. That's not what I expected. That's sick. That's really cool. Okay, so Simon was just photographing one of the geckos that we saw on the way in. We were almost back at the beginning. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see this. But in this little crack... Oh yeah, throw that in there. In this little crack... Oh, it's just an impossible angle for the camera. But that's okay. One... I think they've all shuffled in. Ooh, well, that's a nice close up. No way, mate. Yeah, that beautiful eye there. There's a tail of one. In this one crack, there's seven broad tail geckos. So, three of them we saw before. So, we're not counting those. But the other four make us up to 24 broadies. Alrighty guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video and enjoyed the little critters that we did find. Yeah, awesome night out, good, good fun. And yeah, love getting out with my mates and having a bit of a walk. And obviously it's a bit hard with the little bub now, but you know, I'm gonna make it when I can. Guys, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel as well. And if you wanna support the channel further, check me out on Teespring and Patreon as well. <music>